I'm also quite keen to think about how um, we can push for resources or where we should target them. I mean, if I look at the, the evidence from the Stove Network, Matt Baker, you talk about um, the work of the Culture Collective. You also talk about the Sistema model. What are the top priorities, you would say, in terms of investment now to retain people in employment, but also to keep the sector going um, over the next year, two years, as we come through the pandemic? So what I would be advocating for is a national investment of community embedded art programmes that would provide stable, fair work income for the cultural workforce and support the freelance economy. And if regional and city programmes were coordinated, it could also support teams of associate skills in production, event delivery, arts administration, marketing, etc. And, and that, as you say, would, would, uh, along the, the Sistema model, artists in residence in schools, basically putting our freelance, our, our um, cultural workforce, retaining that cultural workforce by putting them to work in community settings with the infrastructure of local organisations like grassroots music venues, like people like ourselves, comedy clubs, wherever that, that, that um, because we have the innovation in, in the art sector as, as entrepreneurs, we know how to make things happen. We, and that innovation and creativity is fundamental to us getting out of the, uh, out of the COVID, COVID situation. So training and skills would be um, essential in that as well. Both the people seeking to start out in the sector, it's been a really fundamental part of how, how we have worked of trying to break down that sense of um, that, you, that it's basically only entitled people that can can join the, the cultural sector, who can afford to volunteer, or uh, but rather um, bringing people from disadvantaged backgrounds, people to experiencing inequality, bringing those in, as opportunities into the, into the cultural workforce, um, and we'd be doing that through as as Clara has been describing through that on the job work ex work experience. Um, providing opportunities for career progression for people at all levels of the cultural and creative sector and being a doorway for others to enter the sector directly from that community base. So you're maximizing diversity and inclusion in the growth of the sector. And I think if you if you if you took that that uh, significant investment approach to that community embedded art program, so you're not talking about directing money at, at the, the large theatres, etc. You're talking about doing that from the bottom up. But the, the, the bit where the large theatres, etc. would come in is that you would be adding on top of that um, community embedded programme, uh, 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 an active research and development programme that was looking at that work as it was going on and mapping the way that it was using those other bits of infrastructural resource that we already have in the cultural sector and seeing which bits of those are going to be useful within that, that, that new model of a, a, a grassroots cultural, cultural creation um, that, that's the foundation of our, our um, growth and progression as a country from, from here.